Thursday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. And that some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A few years ago, I was often called by a lot of people to pray over them especially as they ask for healing. Though I knew I was being used by God as His instrument, somehow there were times that what I prayed for in collaboration with the people around me didn't really come as we would like it to be. That's when I realized that the correct way to pray is to ask to understand God's will in our lives. Sometimes God's will may not exactly be to your expectation. This is when we have to understand what he meant when he said, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. That's in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Additionally, I tell those who have been asking for my prayer to just have faith. It's because it's not me doing the healing. Then I quote them what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 9, verse 22. Your faith has made you well. Also, to further bring it to point, I quote Mark 5, 34. Daughter, or son, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. That's why, from that time onwards, the prayer or advice of Saint Padre Pio has become my favorite. Pray, believe, and don't worry. At this point, I would like to invite you to pray. My forgiving Lord, please give me courage. Please give me courage especially to humble myself before you and to acknowledge all my sins. In this humble acknowledgement, please help me to also seek your daily forgiveness in my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Good morning to everybody. Please share this video as someone may need an enlightenment and a prayer. Again, keep safe, follow health protocol, and God bless.